Hello everyone, today we'll be installing Magnus Berlin in a CentOS VM in Google Cloud Platform. So let's start. Let's create it. Uh, create a virtual machine. Uh, just use whatever region you want. Uh, be sure to select uh, CentOS 7. As for the name, you can just um, use any you want. Allow HTTPS, full access to our cloud APIs, and create the instance. It should be ready to work with within a few seconds. Okay, so it's done. Just connect to its SSH. Sometimes it doesn't show up, so just keep closing, closing it and opening until it shows up. I don't know why this happens, but uh, it's part of what it is. Okay, so now you can just go to to the Magnus Billing website, as we have the install steps here. You can simply copy them and go to the SSH and login as root sudo su root and paste okay so now just press enter to execute the install script it's gonna ask for your time zone i'm just gonna leave it as is And now the installation has begun, so let's just wait. Okay, so now the install has finished. Let's just select a language. Okay, so now the install has finished. Let's just uh, press enter. So the server reboots, press reconnect. You can simply click the external IP link here. You can close this. And Magnus Billing should show up in a few seconds as soon as it starts. Okay, so you can just log in with the default login details. Just fill in your info. Save. I recommend you to change the password. And now we still need to configure some other stuff. So let's go to network details, firewall rules, create a new one. You can name it whatever you want. Um, all instances as for the IP ranges just set it for everything we need the UDP protocol for the fifth for asterisk which it, which port is 5060 we also need the ports from 10,000 to 20,000 range for the calls and this should be fine so just create it so let's go to, let's go back to the SSH, login as root. And now we need to edit the SIP config file because 
since Google Cloud uses local IP addresses, we need to make some configurations. So let's go to etc asterisk. We should have uh, a file called sip.conf. So let's use, you can use any editor. We're going to use Vim to edit sip.conf. And uh, what we need to do here is let's just go back here to our dashboard here, copy our internal IP and you need to edit this as with your IP addresses. So paste, paste and paste. Let's just remove those spaces here. Copy this. You can now use the arrow keys to navigate around here. Press insert to enter edit mode. And let's just add the these lines here. You can just paste it. You can now press escape to leave editing mode and just type down this command here. So you can save and don't forget the exclamation mark to override the read only attribute of the file. Now we need to go to asterisk and reload zip. Zip reload. And now Magnus Billing should be ready to operate. So you can make your tests and stuff and everything should be working fine. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel to keep updated and be sure to also check our other videos. See you guys next time.